everyone, welcome to part four of building a Schleich model horse barn. I actually took a good little break from working on this project, but I'm back at it. And as you can see, I got siding on the third side of the barn. It looks really nice. So the outside is definitely looking at very finished off and nice and complete. And something that happened that I did not expect was that this brick that I glued down or this stone material that I did a few parts ago, I'm not quite sure, it might just be the last part, but anyway, it had super big bubbles in it and it was not laying flat after I glued it down. Anyway, after some time, it actually flattened out and it's laying nice and flat now. I did not expect that to happen, but I'm really happy. It looks way better. As you can see, there's a tiny little bubbles left in it, but it's not near as bad as it was. So I'm glad it kind of just fixed itself. So the next thing I'm working on is this wall that needs to go right here. I already cut it out of foam board and I got the front wrapped with paper. I still have to do the back, but it's going to go right here and it's going to separate off this little room. And anyway, I added quite a large door. This piece is ready to go. It's covered on both sides. I'm going to glue this in. I've actually decided I'm not going to put a front on the tack room and feed room. It's going to be kind of unrealistic. However, I think it'll be better because these rooms are already so small. And even though I'm going to try to make it so I can take the roof off, it's just going to be super hard for one to film in these rooms because there'll just be a little doorway and I don't want to always have to be feeling like this. I want to be able to film like this, but if I put like a front on it and a tiny little door, it's going to be super hard to do that and the rooms will be a little bit useless. So I've decided they're just going to be open and this is actually the only piece like this I have to make and on this side it'll be the front of the stalls of course. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to explain all that because that was a change of plans I had made. And now I have my hot glue gun heating up so we can glue this in. I'm not just going to paint some skinny sticks brown to do some trim around this because it doesn't look very good right now without it. So I'm going to do that and also I can't really decide whether I'm going to put down the stone down the aisle or do the stalls next. Probably do the stalls, but I don't know. So I'm just going to do this. So I was using my knife and I was cutting out these big lumps of glue that squeezed out when I glued this wall on because I have to glue these here and it wasn't going to work with them huge lumps of glue. And then I tore the floor paper and then I tried to color it in <laughs> and then I realized how unfixable this is. So as you can see things are looking up now. I am so proud of myself. I just fixed that huge mistake. I put a little piece of paper over it that I, and I tried my best to like match it up with the rest of the wood and it turned out really good. You can't even tell it happened. So I'm super happy and now I'm going to carry on with the trim. work on the stalls and actually put them together. So I cut this piece of foam board. It's going to be the divider between two stalls. I'm going to cover it with this same paper and I'm going to use these sticks to like be the bars and I'll poke them into the foam board. I think it's going to look really cool. Hopefully it turns out. We have Tronta here. She is being my scale to how tall this needs to be. Anyway, so that is what we're working on now.
little divider piece. We've got all kinds of tape scraps around here now. I'm now just experimenting with these sticks and how long I want them to be. I just used a toothpick and poked the hole and there's it's working really well. So I'll probably add a little glue too. Anyway, I think it's going to look so cool. And I just remembered I'm probably going to have to paint these before I glue them in. Good thing I remembered that. This is taking a little while because I have to do three coats in order for them to look good. But it's kind of snowing outside a little bit today. It's very cozy inside, so I'm just working on this, and it's fine that it's taking a while. Usually when I work on the barn, I either watch YouTube videos or I'll sing my talent team songs. Right now, it's YouTube videos. So, on to coat number three for these. Even though I just said it's like cozy inside, I have my window wide open because I love the fresh air. <laughs> so my sticks are drying. Ta-da! And I was just thinking that I'm going to need to make another piece like this to put here. And I'm going to have to paint more sticks and everything. I'm going to have to end up painting a lot of these sticks. And also, before I kind of like box these stalls in and put the stalls together, I have to fix this over here because when I put in this foam for the mats I cut it I cut too much out and there's a big gap over here so I need to fill this in with a little bit of foam so that it's not a big gap and then I can put in this stick that little trim that's supposed to be there that I made and I don't know where I put it I'll find it it's around here somewhere so we'll get that all taken care of because that's a little problem and I've been putting that off and the stove's beeping I have no clue how I did that, but I made it fit so perfectly, I don't even need to glue it. I'm actually going to kind of ruin it if I try to pull it out and glue it. So I'm just going to glue this piece in and the oh, hold it. I need to. Yay, this turned out so well. Look at me fixing all my mistakes. Love, you make a sun fly. Or a night seem like a lifetime. Today I am continuing my work on the stalls and as you can see this last piece we made, well I made, <laughs> you watched me make, went in really nicely. I think it looks really good. I glued this piece that I just made out front so it's going to, it kind of looks a little funky right now I think, but once the actual front of the stalls are here and the sliding doors it will make sense of why that's there. Now I'm going to make a piece just like this one with the bars and everything and put it right here. I finally got this little piece of foam board cut and covered. It took me a couple tries. I just, it was driving me crazy. I could not cut it square for some reason. So finally got it square <laughs> and it looks right. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm putting on the little sticks and I'm waiting for these ones to dry. So here's the piece so far. Obviously the top isn't finished or anything. 
but I am just done for right now. I need a break. This is going extremely slow for some reason, and I'm just not having it anymore. So this is where we're leaving off. As you can see, this little side piece for, or more like front piece, for this stall is finished. I'm happy with how it turned out. I actually ended up spending a lot of time on it, and I need to make a piece like that, another side piece for over here on this stall, and finish that off. However, I'll probably do that, um, like, not on video, because it's just going to be a repeated process. And I think I'm going to end this video here, because I need to get this out for you guys, and I don't want it to be super late. So this is what we've got done in this part, a start on the stalls in this wall up. So I'm happy with it, and thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye!